Hi everyone, this is James Braithwaite of Braithwaite Physiotherapy, helping you to move beautifully. Today, we're going to talk about how is it that you integrate exercise into your rehab after certain types of neck injuries. And specifically, I'm not talking about nerve injuries or anything where you do, you get a neck thing and you've got the tingly stuff down your arm, none of that. We're not dealing with that today. What we're dealing with is the type of injury where if you've had a whiplash injury or you've been playing sports and you've had your clock cleaned or something like that, and then you get that sensation like you've got a really heavy head or sometimes people describe it as like a bowling ball on a popsicle stick like that type of sensation where you're having a hard time it's pretty good head movement right you're having a hard time stabilizing your head on your neck and everything's heavy and tired and etc and etc this can happen at your neck it can happen at any joint if you do a shoulder injury often you'll feel like you don't have the strength to move your shoulder around or you do a knee injury and Maybe you feel like you're not stable through your knee anymore because there's no, not the right type of muscular support there. This is that, but applied to the neck, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a simple exercise that deals with stabilizing first right at those vertebral segments, right? Local stabilization. And then we're gonna expand that out to the whole upper girdle, right? So your whole shoulder and neck girdle, I call it the upper girdle because it sounds cool, but all that means is neck, shoulder, that includes your chest and your back, and We'll integrate some exercises there that will help us in the overall stabilization situation when you get the type of neck injury that I just described. Sound good? Yes, it does. So let's do our first exercise. I'm gonna I'm gonna come over onto the table over here. So we're gonna switch positions. Camera over there. I'm gonna be over here. This is gonna be magnificent. All right. So I'm gonna get down on my table right now. Here's how I would recommend you try this at home. You're gonna grab a cloth. Right? This is a cloth. I'm gonna roll it up thusly. Wonderful. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my cloth underneath the base of my skull, just like so. I'd like to imagine that when I do this exercise, that my head and neck are sitting on a bed of firm sand, like you know, some of that sand that's been watered down. It's a little bit um, dense. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to push your whole head and neck into the sand to make an impression of the back of your head. Why wouldn't we all want to be doing that? I do it pretty much constantly. That's what the exercise is, okay? So here I go, I'm gonna tuck my chin in, just like so. We, we don't have to set an Olympic record with this, it's just a gentle impression into that sand. I put the roll here so that I can feel a little bit of feedback. I can feel the cloth pushing into that base of my skull, top of my neck um, uh, uh, position. So, or part of my body position, part of my body, whatever it is, I can feel it. So here I go. I can hold it for 10 seconds. Again, I'm 6 out of 10 intensity, not 12 out of 10 intensity, and then I release, right? If I can do that comfortably, then I can try that exact same movement from standing up position. Just that same chin tuck, imagining that I'm trying to make an impression of my head and neck into a, uh, some wet sand, some cement, whatever it is. Hold it for 10 seconds and release. 10 repetitions of that. If I want to get fancier, I can come into a bird dog position or even a push-up position if I really want to impress everyone. And then I can do the same exercise, tucking in, making an impression of the back of my head and neck against some imaginary sand. The reason that we do it from this sort of plank or push-up or bird dog type position is that um, it allows us to add the weight of gravity to the exercise. So I'm not just moving my head, I'm now moving it against gravity when I'm in this planking position, right? So from this position, it becomes even more challenging and therefore awesome. So once you've nailed that, like if you do that exercise, if you've got that heavy head on neck type sensation, doing that exercise for a week to two weeks, you should be noticing some marked improvement in your sensation of stability. Like that heavy head sensation should be notably reduced. Now, once you're in that spot, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start to integrate that same positioning into shoulder girdle exercises. So I like to choose pushing exercises and pulling exercises because those are things that we do with our shoulder girdle, right? So here I am, I'm gonna use the example of a TRX row. This is my TRX, you've probably seen them at your gym. It does not have to be a TRX row, you could choose many other pulling exercises. We're just using this as an example. If you're not sure how to apply that to your own workout, talk to your physiotherapist. That's totally what we're here for. Um, here I am, I'm gonna start with the handles on my chest wall. I'm gonna walk my feet forward to create an angle, straight line between my shoulder and my ankles, and then boom, 
I'm tucking that chin in so that I've got a straight line, not just from my shoulder to my ankle, but from the top of my head to my ankle as well. So it's one giant straight line. I'm not here, not here, I'm here. Beautiful, this is magnificent. Now I can start to do my row and maintain that chin tuck all at the same time. I've got the stabilizing exercise happening in my neck while I'm integrating upper girdle exercise as well. So it's now more compound movement. This is more like what we would be doing in real life. We could be walking around with our chin tuck. We could be doing a row while we're chin tuck. Another wonderful exercise, push-ups. So I'm getting back into that plank position, the one from where I was doing the chin tuck earlier. Now I'm gonna tuck in and I'm gonna do my sets of push-ups. Just like this, three sets of 10, just like I would be doing on any regular strength training protocol, except now I'm really focusing on having that neck stabilized while I execute. Outstanding. So if this is you, if this is your type of situation where you've had that injury that, make, that, gives, that leaves you with that heavy head on neck type sensation, start with a simple neck stabilizing exercise, change the position, go from lying down to sitting up and then finally into plank or push up positions, and then start integrating it into regular upper girdle strength training exercise. We use the example of the row and the push up. Other options are available. You can talk to your physiotherapist about that. If you have questions about this or anything else physiotherapy related, please come in and talk to us here at Breakaway Physiotherapy. We're here to help you move beautifully. Have a great day.